What's up guys? In this video I'm going to be turning this DJI Phantom 3 into an FPV racing drone. So basically to start this, I'm just going to take this cover off, take off everything that I can, completely disassemble it, and attempt to take out the electronics. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be using for this, I haven't ordered it yet. So motors, flight controller, the camera, the VTX, the receiver, I have no idea what it's going to look like on the inside of this drone. So let's get to taking this apart. I already have the camera off, it came pretty busted up, so I just cut the wires and uh, this looks still in decent shape, so I'll probably hold on to this. Otherwise. Let's get this thing apart. So I want to keep the stickers on here, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the crease between the top plate and the bottom plate. This is going to make it so that the stickers look a little cleaner when it goes back together and I won't have to rip up the sticker. All right, so with some prying on the cover, you're able to get it off. So here's the top plate. I think this is an antenna, so I'll probably take this out. I am not gonna be using that. And here we have our flight controller and ESCs. And we got our motors. I'm not gonna be using any of this, so I'm going to completely remove everything that's right here. So there's the guts of a Phantom 3. So this is where the flight controller originally was mounted. So I'm gonna see if I can create a bracket that'll fit on this, that'll be 30 by 30, and then I can mount in a nice little stack right in the middle. There's a lot of room in here, so I'm excited with what I can do. Still a couple little things in here that I'm gonna try and get out. All right, so there's the bottom shell completely stripped down. I'm gonna keep it like that for now. And all I'm gonna do to the top is take this giant antenna off. So there we have it. This is our frame. We got the legs over here. So I'm gonna put all these aside and I'm actually gonna figure out what parts I'm ordering. I'm going to try and come up with a bracket, a 30 by 30 bracket that'll mount onto these locations because that's where I'm gonna have the most room. And I'm probably just gonna keep this battery tray right like that because that's where I'll keep the battery. All right, so I got a bunch of parts here. Let's go over them real quick. For the motors, I'm using a set of Emax Eco 2 2306 1900 kV motors. These are gonna be capable of 6S. So I got four of those. I have a little bit of extra wire so that I can run it to the board that's gonna be sitting in the middle here because the motor wires that come on these aren't actually long enough to reach the center of the drone. So I'm gonna have to extend that a little bit. So I got this. 
This is just a VTX that I had laying around. I think this is an AKK 350 milliwatt VTX. And I also have this long antenna. So this antenna is actually gonna be able to go down one of the holes on the lower part of the frame and down through the landing gear where the original antennas went. And for the camera, this is just another camera that I had laying around. This is a Foxier camera. I'm using an R9 Mini or an R9MM. Then for the stack, I'm using a Mamba F7. This is a 55 amp all-in-one uh, stack. So this is gonna make it nice and clean. And to mount all this stuff, I actually designed a little board that goes right in the middle, right on these four mounting holes. So it's gonna sit right there. And I have a 30 by 30 pattern and I have a 20 by 20 pattern for the VTX. So when I originally designed this, it was just this. This is about the size of a credit card. And then I realized that I need to mount the camera. So I designed this version and this is actually the same thing just with a little extension on the top. And these two holes are what's gonna mount the camera. So this is gonna sit right like that. And then we can mount the camera right there. And I'm gonna drill a hole somewhere in here so that the camera's poking out. And that's how everything's gonna be mounted. Another part that I 3D printed was this mount. This is something that I designed. This is just a mount for a GoPro. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the flight controller and the VTX and the camera, and I'm gonna mount those all to this little board right here. All right, this looks sick. So since this is all together, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the flight controller off and I'm gonna mount this inside the Phantom and I'm gonna start screwing in the motors. We'll get the uh, wires all soldered up to the ESC and then we'll get the camera and the VTX and everything all hooked up. All right, so this is pretty much all set and I got everything all mounted, got the camera on here. I even installed some LEDs underneath here and I programmed it so that the back LEDs are green and flashing and the forward LEDs are red. 
So that's exactly how a Phantom is from the factory. So I want this thing to look like it's just a bone stock Phantom as much as possible. So this is what it looks like currently. So as you can see, these rear LEDs are flashing green and the front ones are just solid red. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to program the startup tune on the ESCs so that it actually sounds like a Phantom. And then I'm gonna get to fitting the top cover. All right, so I just programmed the stock Phantom startup tune to the drone. So if you're interested in how to program a custom startup tune, I'll leave a link to a video that I made that describes the entire process and everything uh, right up here. And then there'll also be a link down in the description. So now all that's left to do is get the cover back on here and get some props on. We got the landing gear all together and uh, we're gonna take this thing for a test flight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take a drill and I'm gonna drill out a hole right here. I might just take out this entire section just so the camera can peek through. And then this should sit down nice and flush. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit seven inch props on here. If not, I do have a set of five inch props that I'll try. Um, both of them will be white. The seven inch props I have are black, but I'll be putting some white plastic upon them to make it look like a phantom. But uh, yeah, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut out a hole right here just so I can have the camera peeking through. All right, so before I throw the legs on, I actually ended up putting a different VTX on here because the other one I didn't realize didn't work. Uh, this is also a 20 by 20 stack, so this one fits perfectly on the little uh, board that I made. And then I'm also going with an XM Plus because I was having problems with my R9M uh, or R9 Mini binding with my controller. So I just put an XM Plus on here and a different VTX. So I'll leave links to all of this equipment down in the description. I'll put this on Thingiverse so that you can download it if you want to turn a Phantom into an FPV drone. Otherwise, I'm going to throw the legs on here. I have all the antennas running through where the stock antennas go. So these are going to sit nice and hidden in the legs. So go ahead and mount those in and we'll see how it looks. All right, so final test. I'm gonna plug a battery in and make sure that everything arms and looks good. Looks good. All right, so one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spray each propeller to be white. I'm spraying this with a can of white Plasti Dip. I think that this will give it a good look and it'll make it look like the actual DJI props. So I'm gonna do a couple coats on this side and then I'll flip them over and do the other side. Now, I'm gonna mount the propellers on there. These are seven inch 
HQ props. I'll leave a link to these in the description. And I just have white plastic up on here. So these actually look very similar to the stock props that come with the Phantom. So these are seven inch props, and the way that these, these are incredibly close to the uh, frame. They're not tapping, so I'm just gonna send it. But um, I do have a spacer on these motors. It's a two millimeter spacer, so I was able to lift the motor up just a little bit, just enough so that the prop clears it. So otherwise, everything starts up and looks like it's spinning in the right direction. So I'm going to get the nuts on here, and we're gonna take this thing for a test flight. All right, final thoughts on my DJI FPV uh, Phantom. I think that this is a relatively pointless drone. You're not gonna be getting any cinematic footage out of it. It's bulky, it is not aerodynamic, and it heats up very fast. I actually had to drill holes next to the camera and then cut out these ducts so that air could get in there to cool off the flight controller and the VTX. Um, you're not gonna get any cinematic footage out of it because any GoPro that you have on the bottom here aimed up is going to show the arms and the props so you're not going to get any cinematic footage out of it this drone is more so just if you have a phantom laying around that's broken or if you have uh, fpv parts laying around you can build this and it is a complete sleeper you'll never see a phantom flying 70 miles an hour doing flips and the fact that this is one that can do it it'll definitely take people by surprise so if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of FPV drone builds and FPV drone videos. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave it in the comment section down below. And make sure you like the video. Whatever, dude. <laughs>